Welcome to today's class and as a part of the inventory management topic, so today we'll be moving forward to our next topic, goods receipt part one. So the topics that we're going to cover, they are movement types and their role, procedure for the initial entry of stock balances in the SAP system, good receipt with or without a purchase order or a production order, free of charge delivery, good receipt into the unrestricted quart inspection or blocked stock, special aspects of receiving goods in GR blocked stock, and automatic generation of purchase order at the time of goods receipt. So first of all, we'll start with a business example that where we're going to use it. So before SAP system goes live, stock of material belonging to a company must be recorded in the new system through an initial entry of stock balance. That means when a company is first time implementing the SAP system, so before going live, your physical stock in a warehouse should be matching with the stock setup in SAP. Okay, so now this procedure is, is done via uh, an automatic process that I'll be talking about in the other topics later on. But for now, what I'm talking about here is how we can manually adjust the stock in our SAP system okay uh, then we'll talk about you also want to test how the goods received are entered in the system without reference to a purchase order so if you want to enter a good receipt and there's no purchase order how do you do that and third is you have been asked that purchase order should be generated automatically at the time of goods receipt. okay so for example you're doing a goods receipt and for XYZ reason, there is no purchase order. We want the system to, to create an automatic purchase order. So how do we do that? What are the customizing that we're going to cover in today's class? So before we start, uh, we'll first talk about the movement types. So within a part of this uh, inventory management topic, we'll be going through a different, different uh, movement types, their roles and functionality would learn. So we'll learn a couple of movement types in today's class and we'll, we'll learn about some other movement class as we go further in as a part of our, our inventory management classes. So movement types, we, we can, you can see here we have different types of movement uh, types. For example, if you want to uh, do a uh, stock balance, okay, then you have different movement types like 561, 563, 565 that I will be using in a minute in the next uh, top uh, in the next topic soon and you also have different movement types when you want to good, do the good receipt without reference to a purchase order okay that are also discussed then you have free of charge delivery you have different movement type without production order if you want to go, do a good receipt then you have different movement types okay you also have a uh, good receipt for byproducts that we'll talk in the later on the other classes and also the return from the customer, we have a different movement type like 451. So we'll go through all these movement types as we go further. So movement types. Okay, now we'll talk about the customizing of the movement types in the other class later on. But briefly, for now, I will tell you that what is the main role of movement type. Okay, we have different movement types, what they do behind the screen. So other goods receipts are controlled using various movement types. Okay, so you can see we, for the other good set, we using different movement types in the screen, as you can see, for different scenarios. So, movement types basically controls quantity and value of data. Depending on what movement type you have selected, it will control the quantity and value of data. Value means the dollar value. Movement type can influence the account determination. Okay, it also depends like what movement type you're using. And depending on the movement type, it will determine uh, the, the right general ledger account in finance. Okay, we'll talk about account determination in a separate chapter later on. And influences the field selection. Even I will show you in today's class that how you use a movement type and it will change what fields are mandatory in your screen. The transaction will be same like my go. However, depending on what movement types you have selected, the mandatory fields or the field selection will ch keep changing depending on what movement types you are using. And then it influences message determination. Also depending on the movement type, 
you might see different messages different messages that pop up uh, on di on different uh, scenarios uh, we have seen before like there are some warning messages some error messages so depending on the movement types you have selected it will also influence that type of message that you can see so now we'll start our first part today which is um, goods received without reference okay so so far in the previous classes we were doing the goods received with reference like most likely from the purchase order okay we're doing the migo from the purchase order now now we'll talk about goods received without any reference so first we'll talk about initial entry of stock balance so what initial entry of stock balance is you must carry out an initial entry of stock balance when you implement the SAP system in order to record the starting physical warehouse stock figures or transfer the in inventories from a legacy system. So as I talked about in just in the beginning of the class today that if a company is first time implementing SAP system, what they need to do is to, to match their physical stock with the SAP stock. Okay, or they need to transfer the, uh, the inventory data from the legacy system, whatever XYZ system they're using earlier, to the SAP system. Okay, as I said before, it is done by some automatic processes that I will talk about later on, but now we'll talk about how it can be done manually. Okay, so if you want to adjust some stock in the SAP system, how do you do it manually? Okay, which, which can be a part of the implementation of SAP system. And no physical material movement occur during this, this movement the initial entry of stock balances can take place by posting to three stock types. What that means is when you're doing, when you're, uh, doing this um, initial entry of stock balances, the physical movement is not happening. Okay, because we're just matching the stock. But in the real term, we're just matching the stock, but there's no physical movement happening. Right? So I'll show you practically in a minute. So that this initial entry of stock balance can take place by posting to three stock types. Okay, so you can again post to, the, to three different stock types. As we have seen before, unrestricted stock, stock in quality inspection, and blocked stock. Okay, now for this case, where I'm talking about the initial entry of stock balance. Okay, whenever I say initial entry of stock balance, immediately you should keep in your mind that I'm talking about this scenario okay where we're just doing the adjustment of the stock okay as a part of the new system or it can be just a, a random adjustment okay or a manual adjustment so when you do, do the initial entry of stock balance you need to use either one of these movement type depending on where you want to put the data for unrestricted use data you need to use M movement type 561 if you want to put it in quality inspection, then 563, and in the block stock, in this scenario I'm talking about, then you need to use movement type 565. And the qual quantity recorded is posted to the selected stock types and increases the stock, increases the total valued stock. Okay, so once you receive the goods, obviously the quantity in our stock is stock is increasing, and at the same time the value, the dollar value is also increasing so let's talk about let me show you some practicals here um, so we're talking about the moment type 561 all right so where we're doing good receipt without any reference so what we need to do is to in this case you will open the transaction my go and here you need to select good receipt and because we're not uh, creating a good receipt without any reference, you need to use others. So when you use others, here, if the bottom box is open, this bottom box is open, then you need to enter the material here. You can't enter in the middle one. If you close the bottom, bottom one, then you, you can do it here in the middle one. So, for example, if I enter, say, ABC material, that we've been using in the previous uh, exercises as well. And here I can enter some quantity. For example, I just want to adjust some quantity. Okay, even probably you can create a brand new material right now. Okay, and you can enter some stock for that material. Okay, so that can be another scenario you want to put in the SAP system if you want. But for now, I will just show you.